Hey everybody, Anthony Sequera here, and in this micro nugget, we're going to take a look at the system event log inside the UCS system and its default settings that might surprise you. We know the system event log is going to be very useful for our troubleshooting of particular server events in our UCS system. Let's jump in. So the first thing I want to review with you is where you find great system event log information in your UCS manager. You're going to slide over to the admin tab and you have the faults events and audit log area and you can select events and you can see system event log information reported here. Again, this is going to be dealing with major events on your blades in your UCS system, stuff that you definitely want to be alerted to. But the problem is, is that the system event log is only a certain size, let's say roughly 40 kilobits, for instance, kilobytes that is. So that's great, yeah, wonderful, when that fills old events are going to be overwritten. Most administrators aren't going to want a situation where they don't see particular activities that have occurred because they've grown stale. We want to archive this information and be able to potentially search all of it. So what do you do about this predicament in the UCS system? Well, you set up a system event log policy. That's done over here on the equipment tab. Probably not the most intuitive place, but once you get used to these policies that exist here, you'll quickly be driven there. So we go over to the equipment tab, and then on the tabs on the right hand side, we're going to go to policies. Notice we have sub tabs that appear, and sure enough, one of those sub tabs is the system event log policy. So we can go ahead and give this a description, and then we can indicate how we want that particular system event log backed up. Maybe we want to TFTP that log to a particular location and we want to do it every eight hours and we want to clear the log on backup. How brilliant. Now we won't have that situation where event logs are overwritten as long as, of course, we don't have something go berserk and throw many, many, many different logs in that eight hour period. But this is going to be a type of a configuration that's going to make sense for a lot of administrators. By the way, you can also have actions that trigger this backup process. So you could choose never to do it on a certain interval. You could choose to do it when the log becomes full or when the log has been cleared, it triggers the backup. Okay, so we can do this on set intervals, we can do it on certain actions. The policy that makes sense for your troubleshooting environment in the UCS is obviously going to depend heavily on how you're using your UCS and how many event log entries you tend to see and things of that nature. So, the system event log, very valuable UCS troubleshooting information for us, and now you know exactly how to keep these events safe for your viewing, if that is a key part of your troubleshooting plan, and I bet it is as a UCS administrator. I sure hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.